but it was over two different fence lines, and all that was private property. Eric Herr with Search and Support San Antonio has been involved in search efforts for about 30 missing persons cases. One of the jobs I have is mortuary affairs. So I teach Army students how to search and recover remains from a battlefield, from an accident site. He and his team joined the search efforts for Shanna DeMambro. It's a very bizarre case. Her husband, Chris Santos, says he left the couple's RV for work at around 7 in the morning, came back for lunch, and couldn't find her. That was 10 days ago. It is a long time, especially when the person didn't have their purse, they didn't have their cell phone, they didn't take supplies of any sort, water, food, they didn't pack any luggage, they're not spending any money, it becomes very suspicious. DeMambro's husband says she was last seen wearing a white v-neck shirt, pink shorts, and black flip-flops. Information her used strategically. Because she disappeared wearing flip-flops, I wanted to search that area because to me, it's very possible that she could go, she could be back there. I contacted the landowner. He let me on. Uh, me and the landowner searched. Just 50 minutes into the search, the landowner and her found human remains in the retention pond. You could actually see a human skull. Uh, you could see the deterioration, the the uh, the bone in the hands and the arm. What did remain was a recognizable detail. I saw the tattoo on her back. And her husband had told me that she had a, a tattoo of a sunflower on her back. Comal County Sheriff's Office investigators say they believe it is the body of DeMambro. She was face down and she was in a almost like a crawling position. She had no clothing on and we couldn't tell that she had any shoes on. The body has been sent to Travis County for positive identification. Investigators have been in contact with the DeMambro family. Fox 7 Austin contacted DeMambro's husband, and he declined to do an interview or provide a statement. The investigation into this disappearance is still ongoing. Reporting from Spring Branch, Meredith Aldis, Fox 7 Austin News.